So about four weeks ago, we're at my buddy Joe's baby shower. Right, men are having baby showers now. Not one female is there. Somewhere around 11.30, like nine girls show up drunk and high, talking about they just came from the studio, and at the baby shower, they want to spit bars boasting about all the men they had sex with. Who does this? And, 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 and ladies, listen, you're 35, your rap career is over. It's not gonna happen. You're 35, you, your rap career is over. while I was at lunch. I'm like you, I have fashion. That's oh, and what. This, this is the trend? Yeah, haven't you seen it all over? No, I'm actually seeing it for the first time right now in front of me. Nat said that this look totally went viral and me being the youngest member of our crew needs to rock it as much as possible. And who is Nat? Our boss, Silly. You are not on nickname terms with her just yet, huh? This, okay, I'm sure you'll get there, maybe possibly eventually one day. Well, you just enjoy your fishnet there, <laughs> Jacob. You know what? These fuckers have some strange activity going on and even I can't figure it out. I saw way too much of Jared today. So she stomps right up to her teacher and she says, not all men want to grow up to be stay-at-home dads. Look at mine, he never wants to come home. <laughs> oh wow, she is just so progressive for a seven-year-old. Yeah. She's sweet. I, mean, I guess I got lucky. You know? Yeah. I mean, I'll be honest with you. I, I normally don't like most kids, but Riley is pretty special. Oh, yeah. She's special, all right, in more ways than one. How so? She talks to her imaginary dragon friends more than she talks to me. <laughs> I mean, I hope she grows out of it someday, you know? She will. I mean, look at me. I come from a single dad home. If she grows up to be anything like me, it will be the best thing that's ever happened to you. Oh, God, no. I am worried. <laughs> Oh, hold on. Is that still? Uh, let me talk to Natasha. Uh, me right next to you? I don't care. Let me talk to her. Okay. It's for you. Hello? I need to speak with you. Oh, yeah. I know I forgot to tell you that I had changed my Netflix password, but I drunkenly gave it to Johnny, and he's... I haven't right used now. your Netflix password in months. Then who has been watching Zombievers last okay, week? Okay, whatever. Maybe I don't have my own account, but, like, that's not important. I'm worried about you, Nat. What? We can't talk about this here. I'm coming to get you. Oh, God. Sorry. Oh. What's going on? I should be asking you that. Is this about Zach? Because I'm telling you, he's a cool person. And I'm just looking to get to know my employees better. Well, I think you're letting the male employees bring us down. Are you serious? Look at what Jared just had on. <sighs> hey. Mm. Yeah, I was just, uh, you know. All right, nice talk. Um, you're not gonna wash your hands? No, of course, yeah. I I just didn't want to interrupt, so yeah, I'll do that now. Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me, Natasha. Nat and Mia go to the bathroom all the time to tell secrets. I go in there to simply Take a shit, have a midday cry, maybe call my mom. Call me crazy. I'm the normal one. Isn't that right, mom? Get out of my house. This isn't my usual restroom behavior. So. I uh, heard Jared's calling you Nat now, so that's cool. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, not the time. Yeah, 
You're right. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, for God's sake, could you just swipe it on your skirt or something? Yeah. Yeah. I'll just wipe my wet hands on my Tom Ford skirt. I didn't pay $700 for it. That'd be great. It. Thank you. Okay, look, it was an honest mistake on Jared's part. I played my power card. He's gonna dress like an idiot for a week. Lesson learned. I don't think this is punishment for him. The, the kid actually really likes not wearing a shirt. True. And yes, there are flaws in my plan, but... Okay, these two men almost cost us our biggest client. Mia, how long have you known me? What, uh, eight years? Yeah. Do you seriously think that I'm going to allow some man to destroy my company. I hope not. Because I helped you make Nat's ads. It wouldn't be a thing without me. So if you don't put them in their place, then I will. And Natasha? I mean, Nat has no idea how to punish the men in our office. And I just, I think that her her leadership needs to, you know, be revamped and step it up a notch. And I am clearly the only person that she's close to that can do it, that can show her how to do it. And I'm just gonna have to teach her my ways. My job has just become far more important. You know, I am basically Marilyn Monroe if she wasn't blonde and if she was really, really smart. Rebecca, get up the computer.